Hey, welcome back, Lush players. It's time for another episode of Let's Play Magic and Mayhem. Winding down in the realm of Al Albion, we're going to the Valley of Owain. A plains region chanted by, by mysterious magic. Blah, blah, blah. River cuts through the valley. Dominates. River dominates the scenery. Uh. Hmm. There's a wizard here who I'm probably going to have to kill. But I really don't remember what, ha remember what happens in the Valley of Owain. So it could be something really easy, it could be something retardedly hard. There's only one way to find out. Now you may be wondering, why is this episode being uploaded in the middle of the week? Well, I had a snow day! Not that it was even that bad outside, but... I don't know, maybe the school felt guilty that they didn't give us a snow day when the roads were pretty much made of ice at that point. Oh no, I remember this one. Who was Dionysus? He rescued me from Naxos, the island where Theseus deserted me. He was my husband. Aw, oh, I killed her husband. <laughs> wow. And I just got cock blocked there, too. See? Poor, poor Cornelius. <laughs> poor, poor Cornelius. Glad we found shelter, found shelter in the castle. I'm very wary from all the traveling. Let's hope the owner doesn't hurry back. We should wait to find out. Come on, we must find the portal. We should explore the castle first. I do remember this one. This is the one where there's the fucking brownie that I have to protect. Sorry, it's a little quiet there. Anyways, yeah. So I, I, I had a snow day today, today, and I would have done this uh, last weekend, but I had recently acquired a very nice game. Tales of Werewolves. It's, it was made... It's available on Steam for about 13 bucks in beta, and I recommend it a lot, actually. I found it was a really good game. It had... It had what I wasn't expecting it to. It ha had an actual story, like, and, and a pretty deep one, though they did leave a really big, fat, open ending saying, hey, we're probably gonna make a sequel to this. But anyways, um... Yeah, so, it's like, if you guys have ever played Orcs Must Die, it's kind of that, but with a little more emphasis on the trap strategy. Because in Orcs Must Die, it's like you, in both games you place traps, so it's like a tower defense game, but without towers, instead you have traps that like are one-time activated things, or... Occasionally there might be multiple time activated things, but nothing like nothing like a tower defense pretty much. So, you know, in hindsight I guess it's not really like a tower defense game, but anyways, off the track here. Um and like in the day, you place your traps, and then at night you use them to fight wolves. Ah, oh, the portcullis, it's shut. Maybe the gatekeeper has returned. But yeah, remember this? I, I've been talking about it before, how I think this level is a humongous pain in the asshole. The gatekeeper is a brownie. Yeah, anyway, so, um, like, you, you fight wolves in it, and werewolves, and... It has a lot of wolves, actually. There's, like, these magical shape-shifting creatures that just happen to enjoy taking the form of wolves, and just annoying stuff like that, but anyways. You, like... Th there are a bunch of different traps you can place, like wolf traps... Um, spike pits, bonfires. It's actually a really fun game, very strategic-y. Ah, you must be the fools who let all those creatures wander in. My apologies, we merely sought shelter only to find the portcullis. So, how did the creatures wander in? How do these portals work? Uh, do not fret, I'll raise it, just be sure to keep your hordes of creatures on. How the fuck do these portals work, honestly? Like, they can transport people inside a closed castle. I, I thought it maybe like, seriously, these portals are confusing the fuck out of me. No, 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 dumb brownie, dumb brownie, run away. Run away, you dumb brownie. I wonder if it would be possible for me to sub subvert him and keep the plot going. Like, would, would the game get all mad at me for that, saying that he died, or... Anyways, um... Come on, Ariadne. You don't need to be up here. Get your ass down. Get your dumb cunt unicorns down, okay? That brownie needs to survive. 
Okay, yeah, I remember it's like, if the brownie dies, essentially just a timer goes off, and in like 30 seconds you die. Or less, it's like 10 seconds, because they don't want to make you sit around for nothing. God damn, I'm another cunt unicorn, I'll kill it. I'll fucking kill it. Okay, now go. Go. There we go. He's got a couple of nice unicorn guardians. Ooh. Oh, no, 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 don't, don't, don't let him. Don't let him attack the bounty. No. Whew. That was a little too close of a comfort, which is why I also hate relying on a fucking brownie. Anyways. Now let's get our asses out of here. Open the gate. Open the gate. Are you kidding me? Does he have to go through here? Okay, good. Who has entered my castle uninvited? Wait, if, how about the brownie open the gate, but I couldn't? It's a magical brownie gate? Only where it travels on our way to... Brooklyn on it. Seriously, I'm inside the castle. Why couldn't I open the gate? That's the point of a gate. Travel, they thieves more like. Sandy guard, defeat me and you'll find my portal well hidden. So, okay. Cornelius, beware, Elvis has released a flock of Phoenix. Phenai. Phoenixes. Ah, uh, they're all gonna blow up. It's, n it's not pleasant fighting Phoenixes. Like,. I don't know, picture fighting a bomb, but that bomb also has a beak. That, that's really all I can say about phoenixes. I'm not sure if we even counted them as of late, but essentially they fight. They have... Ooh, I hear griffins too. Anyways, they fight, they have a decently high attack, but an extremely low life. She's gonna die. Yeah, and their extremely low life is also... Enforced by the fact that when they die, they blow up into nice big balls of fire. Don't you fucking die, Ariadne. Don't you fucking die. Wait, did I get it? There we go, unicorn statue. I hate it when they place it, like, near a wall, because then there's no friggin' way you're gonna get it. Do I have to use my mask, like... Good, there's open. Well, it will be open when I kill everything there. Ah, uh, now I remembered why I hate fighting flying units. The enemies are actually really smart and give their nice bows to the flying units. And Ariadne, don't be a dumb cunt, stand and fight. You have Excalibur on your forehead. Dumb bitch. You fucking die. There, fight. Kill the phoenix. Ooh, king unicorn. Ooh, it's gonna blow up. Like, see that? That's a phoenix blowing up. Uh, it, it's a pain in the ass, because, as you can imagine, phoenixes are also immune to fire, as you can see by that phoenix just walking not giving a fuck. Phoenix don't give a fuck. Yeah, so, so essentially they're immune to all fire damage as well. Luckily though, really the only thing that can fight them without fear of getting a nice cauterized asshole is a unicorn. Because as you can see, it's really easy for a unicorn to just run away from the fire. Because unicorns are the fastest units in the game. Ah, fuck Ariadne, why are you so stupid? And you're on fire. You're on fire. Cornelius, please help me go suck a dick. Ooh, yay. Phoenix. Normally, it's fun to find a phoenix on a place of power because you can really just pot shot it to death. But they have kind of brains. Like, that whole put a bow on it. Now it's actually mild threat to my elves. Not, not a big enough threat that two elves can't get the job done, but... 
you dumb cunt. And then she still- Oh, that poor tent! And my poor unicorn got his own asshole cauterized. Oh! Oh, I see now. The tent collapsed. Onto the heads of my, my elves. That explains the sudden dead elf sound. Oh, thank you, Ariadne. You're not that dumb. Thank you again. Now, if only one of us was safe smart enough to pack a spinny disc spell. Like that. Okay, so... Centaur. Elf. Elf on fire. Same old, same old. Oh, that place powers under attack. Oh, not really. It's just the wizard. What? Oh, thunderstorm. Just an incredibly lucky thunderstorm that happened to hit two of my guys. Like, seriously, that is retardedly lucky for a thunderstorm to... Cocks. Okay, so it's... Come on, unicorn, don't be shy. Just, just fire. There we go, let's take that. There he is. Let's get him. Aw, oh, he's on fear. And thunderstorm like a little bitch. Anyways. Oh, unicorn! Don't die! Don't die, unicorn! Don't die! Wait. Oh god, I thought I saw Lucan. Fuck it, run, run, run. Don't, don't stay. Don't stay, unicorn, don't stay. What happened to my other unicorn? Did he get lightning fried? No, unicorn. Anyways, um... If I want to kill him, I should probably take that place of power. It seems particularly well, well defended against Phoenix. Phoenix. Um, but now there's no way to get in there because of the fire. Hmm. There we go, there's a way in. See, while well, units are smart enough to say, hey, I'm not going to walk straight through this fire, they're unfortunately not smart enough to say, hey, I shouldn't stand right next to this fire that has a tendency to spread. Oh, oh, I dropped it. Didn't want to do that. There's the wizard, he just cast fear on my poor little elf. Good bitch, I have your place power now. Put the elf in there, keep the unicorn with me. Oh, that's not good. That is not good at all. Um, hmm. Seems to have a bunch of judgment spells placed on that. Um, that complicates things quite a lot for me, actually. I don't know how I'm going to get in there. I suppose if I kill him? Die. Poor little singed elf. Man, you never ever hit by his own thunderstorm. And my unicorn is sad. Yeah, units. Smart enough to not walk through fire. Not smart enough to avoid fire altogether and not, like, stand next to it for, like, a half hour, too. Because they seem to forget that fire, like, spreads and shit, so... Come on, stop for a second, stop for a second, let me fry you. What? Okay, I guess that's walkable. There we go, bam. God damn it, fear doesn't do anything, you cunt. And now he's actually dead, and my wizard might kill him. 
Oh no, the fire's gonna kill him. No, nope, my spinny discs. Curse you, thief. Um, is it still is the place of power still bum rapey? Seriously though, could I have just explained? Hey, you know, I'm not a thief. Don't kill me. That if he decided to speak instead of fry his face off and impale him on the horn of a unicorn, maybe he'd have a few more allies than one emotionally traumatized woman. Oh, that's probably why that didn't work out so well. Um, hmm. I'll send a poor little elf in to test the place of power, and if he dies, then there's probably something I'm missing in this map, even though I've explored it all. Huh. This is odd, though. They didn't really give me any plot. N normally, at least, each, each map does something to the plot. Like when I found the Grail for no apparent reason. Um, let's, let's try it out. If I die, he reigns as king of the land because he's a king unicorn. Oh well, fuck me. It's a tool seeking missile. Could I haste in? Well, it's shot. It doesn't look like she's going anywhere. So let's haste it in. While chugging all my health. Seriously, there, there's probably a way to disarm that trap, but like they did it before too in Greece, they just had sentry towers. Okay, good victory in the Valley of Wayne. That wasn't particularly long. Should I take a look at Saint Michael's Mount?